everybody, Scrap and Salvage here. Have another estate sale for you this weekend. Let's go inside. Come on in. Sorry about the noise in the background. There's some workers doing some painting stuff. Bear with us. We got some pretty cool little finds here. Uh, these great uh, vintage motorcycle helmets. I love this one in the green. Got the great shields. Got a couple extra shields. Look at these. Come on. Foster Grants. Those are sweet. Have a little bit of missing the little uh, the foam there, but easily replaced. Cool motorcycle uh, handlebars. A little bit newer Coleman Lantern. Pretty cool. Moving on here. Water skis pair. I've seen people take these and put grip tape on them and, and slap some skateboard wheels and have some, some long boards. Pretty cool. Um, this is a uh, kind of a repop gramophone, but an older one. So it works kind of cool. Camping stuff. Got a couple generic art pieces this is pretty cool this billard's light right here kind of vintage probably late 60s 70s vogel zang it's a newer repop of a wood burning stove kind of fun got some records here uh one of the other gems of the of the, of the sale here is this budweiser king of beers mirror light up sign pretty cool got a great old uh, payphone the gentleman of the house past was a a, a pilot was really big into airplane stuff. I think he even even built his own plane. Was a man of all trades, but he's got a lot of old pilots information files and different things. So it's kind of cool to see those. Some more uh, Pack Bell or Bell phone systems, and just the table's got a lot of just little little knickknacks. Another table we have here got an old uh, antique iron. This was really cool. This is this antique um, coffee machine or coffee press. Uh, antique style, just like the way it looks. Go up there, a little press there. Pour yourself a cup. I believe it's 1904 stamped on it. This is pretty cool. I, mean, I think it's a little repop, but it's this uh, Rolls-Royce key. I don't think Rolls-Royce had ever had that key, but it's still kind of a cool little tchotch key. Little black box. This is another cool find I like. It's a, it's a blazer, Starfire blazer torch, butane torch, and you can light your... Um, Light your uh, stove or your camping grill, just like a regular old lighter. Thought that was sweet. Some other fun stuff, some newer camera stuff that we have here. Rexo's photographic laboratory scale. It's kind of cool. Old box cameras. An Anso 35 mil cam. This is pretty fun. I love the color of this uh, Sears typewriter. Sears brand. And uh, that was kind of cool. Cool to find the colors people collect like that more as a decorator piece. Some generic furniture stuff. Moving over here. More of the 50s, 60s kind of stuff. Tchotchkes. Some ashtrays. Different, uh, I think this is Caesar's Palace. Caesar's Palace ashtray. I was surprised to find out that if you find an old McDonald's ashtray, there's some value in that. That's kind of surprised me, but none of those here. Favorite, kind of the favorite thing is this mug set right here. This 50s mug set. Really cool, love the colors. I mean, that just adds a pop of color if you have an open shelving system or glass doors in your kitchen. Bauer bowl set, not complete, but you can, we'll sell them separately, but Bauer bowl set's always cool. Another pop of color. Some cocktail highball glasses, 1965 Kentucky Derby Churchill Downs cup set. These actually command some good money online. And of course, this one is my, one of my favorites. Lose weight, sure way to prevent overeating. No diet, no pills, no exercise. <laughs> anyway, some fun tchotchkes. Over here, a little bit of Christmas. Nothing too old. There's a few little head things that I thought were a little older. Uh, probably to, you know, compile, make a Santa. But still, some of the stuff's collectible. People do like it. More kitchenware stuff. Got a cool Budweiser beer glass and Pepsi glasses. Coke. Just some fun tchotchke stuff out here. Lots and lots of kitchen stuff. Of course, your fridge and pots and pans. The stove, unfortunately, isn't for sale. It's a great old Keith and Merritt, cool old stove. I'm light in here. In here is more of like the crystal sets. You got the champagne glasses, the kind of stuff. Not a huge seller, but um, still, there's interested parties. This is probably the only silver. Got some silver candle holders, some sterling silver. This is plate. More crystal. I mean, it's just crystals, like this cut glass stuff, just really fine quality. It's just the market isn't as strong on that. Got some more stuff, cool little candy dish. I love that. Some uh, cocktail glasses, just an assortment of other goodies. This pitcher is really cool. Great old pitcher, serve some lemonade in that on a Sunday afternoon. So really cool. 
Come in here, have an assortment of furniture. Uh, got this great old Woolitzer, Woolitzer organ, this oil painting, a um, couple antique pieces of furniture, great old chair with a crushed velvet um, back in the seat, a hex or octagonal table, side table. I love the carving on it, definitely antique. Moving on, has a different assortment of china. And uh, yeah. Coming in here, this is kind of just the parts and pieces room. Got a little kind of bar table, um, bistro kind of style. Kind of cool, thought that was fun. A couple project chairs, always get those. Um, and some random furniture and games. This, uh, you know, 60s, 70s, 70s Levi's uh, cord jacket, fortunately, 99% of the clothes were donated before I got here, so that's how it goes. But uh, this one piece is pretty cool. This other shirt over here by Roach, 1974, being be nice to me. I had a hard day. New old stock, or, you know, it's never been worn or washed. And this is another pilot's jacket, but old Hanes label. Kind of cool. Has some different jewelry. Has some cool old watches. Got a fake Rolex and some other good ones. Um, some ladies' watch as well. Some watch bands. Bunch of buckles. The old Buckles, active member of the One Mile High Club, first class. It's pretty hilarious. Uh, Cufflinks, bar clips, etc., and just a, an assortment of other little goodies here. Mm -hmm. Outside, we're not going to open it up because we got a guy standing out there. We got a '77 Jag XJ6 for sale. Definitely uh, need of some work, but for the right person who's uh, restoring a car that could be great or wants to do a restoration project, I have a great old circle little outdoor dining room, iron table and a couple odds and end pieces of fun goodies. So, last but not least, got a great uh, wireless surveillance uh, system by Bunker Hill Security. We have all the two uh, camera model and also the eight channel surveillance DVR four camera model. So anybody who's looking to, uh, you know, um, monitor their business, monitor their home, this is a great uh, thing to get secondhand and the price is right too. Old Spittoon, looks like it's a repop. Still cool though with this uh, Native American branding right there. Uh, yep, washer dryer for sale, another fridge. Um, this is like uh, the gentleman of the house with the jack of all trades. They sold the lathe, or the lathe with the family, but he's got nuts, bolts, nails, washers, you name it, he has it. Um, great assortment, this guy had it all. Sorry about the noise, but it's all I can do. Got a uh, pneumatic air compressor here. Assortment of useful goodies here. Got this cool old Kennedy toolbox, a machinist toolbox, and uh, a lot of just useful stuff that people can come and buy. Cool old drill pass by Duracraft. It's a really good one. Got a bunch of tools, an assortment of tools. A lot of great stuff to uh, pick through and have fun at this sale. NASCAR three ton jack. Uh, pretty nice. One of the great things of this old Craftsman 60s. Um, I got another bit of assortment of stuff, a lot of electronics, little TVs, you know, not that this is high dollar stuff and, and even if it works, but um, pretty cool. Car stereos, there's a Cadillac one in there, I believe another Ford. And then moving on, have a Predator generator. Pretty good price in this um, a bench top where it's on a base, which makes it even better. Uh, bench grinder, Craftsman. The old stuff is always really good. This stuff was pretty much packed in here. We've had to organize it and kind of get it in certain sections um, and just kind of get it uh, ready for the public to come in and check it out. This is kind of a, a digger sale, so it's going to be come out, check it out, and, and pile it up kind of thing for the garage stuff for the most part. This was a great, uh, fun one to set up and stage. Took some time. Hope we liquidate it all. Yeah.